Hi, my name is Bob, and I approve this message. Welcome to Season 8 of Candle Pit for Kids. I got the magic in me. Every time I touch that track, it turns into gold. Everybody knows I got the magic in me. When I hit the floor, the girls come snapping at me. With Steve Reno. We're back with another edition of Candle Pin for Kids, the 2010-2011 Season Ending Championship Show. I'm your host, Steve Reno, and what would a Candle Pin for Kids show without be without you, Shu? It'd be shorter, since yeah. I talk a lot. Welcome, Dan. <laughs> Welcome back to another championship Thanks, season. Should be a, a great matchup today, as we have the 12-14 to age group. Do you have any, uh, you pick a winner back there? This is my favorite part where you ask me to pick a winner. You know, <laughs> last time I didn't do a good job. So this time, how can you pick against Pelchat and Banks? Well, I'm going to do it. Got I'm going to actually jersey pick, on. I'm going to pick Dumas and Powers for this one. I'm going to go out a long shot. Sorry, Aaron. Sorry, Ariana. <laughs> I'm going to go with the long shot over here. And I'll probably, that just jinxed you. Anybody you can't putting win any now. bets on this? I'm sure that I just jinxed them, so. I hope not. I can't They'll wait to see. At us. Can't wait to see. Should be a great show. We have a lot of prizes to give away. The, uh, the champs today will be taking home a $50 gift card as well as a beautiful $50 trophy. And we have a bunch of other things to give them, but we'll go over that later. Yep. Let's introduce the bowlers, shall we? Let's hear it for the bowlers, everyone. It was Halloween when we joined host Tom Brady. No, oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm Steve Reed. Either way, let's take a look at how Colleen Dumas and Stephen Powers got to the finals. That's what he Hey, is. where's a great spear? Nice ball by Stephen Powers. Colleen Dumas held up her share of bargain. The second half spare put her team on the fast track to the finals. And then Stephen Powers managed to toss the hammer before we could even get the camera zoomed in on the pins. The duo would qualify for the finals with a score of 195 which would lead them to face the duo of Ariana DiBiasio and Aaron Souza Jr. Here's Ariana lighting things up in the first half with a big hammer, and then Ariana would keep things going, making this pretty spare. Meanwhile, Souza was at home in the older division. And he's all over it. He's in a hot streak right now. Hot he was. Two single pins would seal the deal and lead his team to finish with a qualifying score of 196, which would bring us to our championship match of Ariana DiBiasio and Aaron Sousa Jr. versus Colleen Dumas and Stephen Powers. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. All our kids will have a seat. Colleen and Ariana are gonna take their place on the lanes, and Colleen is ready to lead us off when, whenever she's ready to go. Here we go again, Dan. Both, both young ladies all over the head, Ben. They smoked the No head messing head. around. Terrible leaf for Colleen for that ball. Wasn't a corner shot. Wasn't uh, a skip lob. It was nice smooth ball all over it. Oh. These ladies can bowl. Wow. They both they both could have had spares with those balls, too. It was a one-pin difference in the, in the qualifying rounds to get on our championship show. We have an event, one event each month at a different location throughout New England. Colleen Dumas and Stephen Powers had qualified with the 195, where Ariana and Aaron qualified with the 196. We had a foot foul. That's when you look up and you're glad that you only got two pins now. <laughs> it was a, not that bad at it all. It was a rough really. ball. Ariana's on the head bend, looking to run down that four horseman, just a little heavy. Colleen coming back here with a big second shot. Ariana will take 10. She's at 20 after two. Ariana. Ariana. That's it, Colleen. And Colleen will take an H. She's at 17. All right. So it's a three pin difference after two frames. Both girls bowling very well, though. Could have had a couple marks. Three, three out of four marks it could have had in there so far, I think. We've had both these young ladies on our show quite a few times. 
No nerves, probably. They're great bowlers. Colleen's got some power behind that ball, deceptive power. Only explodes the pins when, no matter where she hits. It was a great ball. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh. Now, it's amazing. Just to describe that, you've got two pieces of wood that's blocking 75% of the lane, and somehow the ball jumps over all the wood. If it hits it, it takes it, just like you just saw there. Nice 10. That's a rough break. I bet you she thought she had the spin when the ball was rolling down the lane. It looked I certainly good. thought she had it. Well, it's a one pin difference after three, three frames, 27-26. Those are the spares you really want to have in, in a do-or-die one-swing match. Our young ladies are bowling the first five frames of the string, and then their partners, the boys, will be coming up to finish out that game. Oh, wow. And bowl the second half. Whatever team has the highest score will be moving on to face the top seeds. The top-seeded team of Amanda Banks and Michael Pelchat. It's a nice 10 Beautiful for 10. Dumas. Ariana with 8, 34 to 37. It's a three-pin difference. Both ladies, I'm sure, would like to get a mark here. Nice smooth ball by DiBiasio. Wow. That's a tough break. How else do you describe taking the 1, 2, two 3, three and eight. 8? That Amazing, say, Dan. Wow. It's a nice shot by it's Colleen. Wow! Oh, wow! <laughs> Ariana would have had the shot of the day if that went. Big spear for Colleen Dumas. A great, great second ball. That was a an incredible try by Ariana DiBiasio. She finishes with 10. She's at 44. Dumas at 47 in the bonus ball for her partner, Stephen Powers. Steven's rolling right now. He's going to fill that spear with five. Aaron. Got we saw Aaron last uh, week with us. Yes, we did. In the 11 and under age group. Let's leave. Oh. Nice shot by Steven Powers. What a great ball. <clears throat> and he pulled a muscle on his leg on that ball, I think, a little bit. That was a nice spear pickup. The first fill was a five. Yeah, score correction. We have our good friend Bruce McClure running the scoreboard today. Got to see a lot of Mr. Powers up in Canada. Actually, was on the team that I specifically coached. Did a little extra practice with us. Kids got a bright future in this game. Nice try by Sousa. That's going to be a nine. Filling that spear with seven. He's at 78 through seven. Aaron with a nine. And he's at 61. It's a 17 pin difference in the match. Heading into the final three frames. We wish we could have gave the kids a little more air time in this semi-final matchup. No luck at all, Aaron. There's a big bumper championship coming here to the Pilgrim Lanes today, starting at 1, one o'clock. <laughs> Aaron's big sweeping hook ball is not working well at Pilgrim today. Nice eight drop, but you know, it's hard Solid to make the 7-9. Nine. Nine. You know the Pilgrim Lanes here in Haverhill is <laughs> home to one of the true, true uh, all-time greats, Peter Flynn. Right about now, the team of DiBiasio and Sousa is wishing we held this final down at Central Park. <laughs> Home house. It's a nice ball by Aaron. He's just not another any tough breaks. break. The, the big hook just doesn't seem to work good at Pilgrim. Some houses it does. Not here. Straighter ball like uh, Steven throws. Yep. Nice ball for Powers. Nice ball. Come on. Oh, come on. If anybody in this audience that was a great had try. telekinesis, that pin would have been over. <laughs> that was a great try by Aaron. He's going to take nine. So it looks like Colleen Dumas is, and Stephen Powers are going to move on. They're keeping my prediction alive there. 
Fills that spare with eight, and he has another spare leave. He's at 105 through nine. Souza and DiBiasio, 78, and another tough leave for Aaron. <laughs> he rolls his eyes. Powers didn't miss that shot by much. Just we, a hair right. And we should note that the entire team of Sousa and DiBiasio for having their headpins on the first ball the entire string. This is what happens in a, in a one string match. They said no breaks. Nothing you can do about it. Good match. So our final score with Powers taking nine in the last box. He's at 114 to DiBiasio and Sousa Jr.'s 86. So Colleen Dumas and Stephen Powers will be moving on to the championship. So uh, we're going to take a little break and we're going to come back with more action in just a little bit.